Going in game one with basically the legend you've been going through all day today. Like, he did play the Ulgrim a little bit, but it's still mostly been the Vector. I think you should dance with the date that you brought, yeah. at least for a little while, until you find a much hotter date who, <laughs> who laughs at your also jokes. Also at the dance. Oh, yeah, honestly, uh, it, the, laughing at the jokes is definitely the, the most important part. But use in the edge guard already against Power Ranger, Power Ranger. Wanting to play that one out. He's definitely getting the, the damage advantage over to Yuz. And here we're seeing Yuz back to the Lance. This is the weapon that, honestly, I didn't have the most confidence in. Yuz, you're not seeing the standard Lance play. Instead, it's a lot of neutral lights and down lights, not the side light nares that we've seen from other Lance players. Definitely. I think the success that we were maybe seeing against the Kaina game is it was like Yuz was finding side airs and stuff, but really it was just that he was already ahead due to the bow play rather than a standing out or a shining star on the Lance play. He's Starting off this one pretty well, though Power Ranger does have a nice lead here. Definitely in the range where Power Ranger might be finding himself a KO, but Power Ranger himself is getting into that damage as well. So we could see this stock going either way as we get about a minute and 10 seconds into this game. Yuz does hit the neutral, hits the recovery, Ooh. and Yuz gonna take the first lead here in the winner's semifinal. This is a big one. If Yuz wins this best of five, he goes into the winner's finals. A guaranteed top three finish for Yuz over Power Ranger would be massive. It was really nice that he found that recovery all the way up there. Yeah, if he, if he, he hit like high. a D-Light recovery on the ground, I don't think that would have KO'd, or at least it would have been close. Nice D-Sig for Power Clear. Ranger. He spawned back in the game, hit the neutral air, but it was so low to the ground that it really wasn't in danger of knocking out you. So he did find the down Sig. He is a little bit behind here. We are seeing that Lance come out. Not too much. It's been about one or two hits so far for you. Seems like he's a little bit cautious about throwing out the neutral air. Ooh. Doesn't want to get caught with that, even though it just recently got a little bit of a buff. It seems like he's still worried about getting punished by Power Ranger, and I don't blame him. Yeah, I mean, uh, despite the fact that that hitbox can be nice, uh, nice and large and protective, it isn't the safest thing as Power Ranger again trying to play that edge guard. Nice down onto there. use use. Doesn't hit the side air. That side air would have been brutal. And Power Ranger thinking his lucky star is that he got past all of it. Falling side air, beaten out by the neutral light from use, and again use looking for that high recovery. Ooh, Power Rangers, he's been able to pick up his weapon off of that one, so he's not at the weapon disadvantage after Ooh, hitting. Ooh, just over it. Ooh, let's see. Use over on the edge. Power Ranger being very careful. You saw him dash forward, dash back, but they didn't go anywhere near that edge. Again, not quite enough to KO just yet. Lance coming out. I think a side air oh. will KO. I think that one actually bounced off the stage, so it didn't immediately lead to the KO. That neutral light, man, that's getting close to KO. Neutral air, that one still didn't Bro, this KO. Is small, brawl small brawl haven. These things KO earlier than normal, but man, that took a while for Power Ranger to find that finishing blow. The neutral air finally does it. We're three minutes into this game on small brawl haven. That is a very long game for this match so far. We'll see if Yuz is able to find that one. Ooh, it's a neutral air. Doesn't get the KO on it. Getting close. I think one more might do it, depending on where he picks it up. Nice D-Light recovery. Power Ranger knew that Yuz was going to be looking for the D-Light setup to lead into the recovery for the true combo KO option. I love that chase from Power Ranger. He hit the side light and just followed Yuz. Didn't go for the immediate down light. He just waited, and the second Yuz opted to go for something, he, he waits for it and punishes with that neutral light. I just love that movement and that mentality from Power Ranger. GC in light, good way to start this one. Adding up more and more damage. That has Yuz in the red. We'll see if Power Ranger struggles just a little bit longer to end this stock like he did some of the previous ones. He still did find it. We're about four minutes into this game. Power Ranger still in the yellow. Oh, man. Power Ranger's looking for the perfect setup. He may have gotten a little bit impatient okay. there. Now he found it perfectly. Didn't quite get the KO as it was all the way on the right side of the stage. Nice. There is the one that he wanted. Power Ranger going to take game one. Six 55 damage That's that he had to put out. Oh my goodness, Duke. That's a lot of damage that he was forced to put out to finally finish off these stocks of use. Uh, again, very suboptimal. 450 is what you're looking for for the theoretical perfect. And one of the things that I definitely noticed from that matchup is like, Yuz was doing these side airs right over Power Ranger, and Power Ranger was definitely in that sword mentality of like, I need a downlight punish this. And he's like, Yuz is landing in the air. And he's like, well, I can't downlight right now. So there's a period in time where Yuz is doing these side airs and Power Rangers just standing underneath him. Finally, he does end up finding those punishes, swaps to the bow and gets the KO. But uh, if Yuz kept playing that, could have seen things change. But instead, he's swapping over to the Volkov.
You saw how high those peaks were on that graph. That is your visual representation of how much damage it took to finally knock out use there. But yeah, we're getting that Volkov swap. I think in the past, when Wes has played Volkov, I feel like I haven't seen anybody else play Volkov <laughs> in South America whatsoever. So this is definitely a treat for me. We'll see if uh, he leans on the light attack button just a little bit more than Wes does. Maybe uh, maybe that heavy attack button is a Wes classic. Well, uh, so far looking very different to uh, that heavy attack uh, play style of Wes. We're already seeing Yuzu use a lot of light attacks. Unfortunately, it's not enough to give him the damage advantage as Power Ranger was going for the weapon denial. Use does find the axe, and this is the thing that Wes was throwing those side sticks out on and oh, Power Ranger yo, with the, a punish. He found out how to punish it. He knew. You have to know it's coming and then throw out a neutral signature, but even with that, like it was a 50 second stock takeout, but you saw the neutral signature that hit on the left side. Use was pretty close to red. He might have been in red. The neutral signature from Power Ranger didn't even send him off screen. So even though he did find that KO at a very good spot in the game, I am still a little bit worried based on the previous games that we saw, especially on this stage compared to like small brawl haven that power ranger is going to find efficient stocks uh well at the same time power ranger is finding efficient efficient punishes you're seeing those weapon tosses seeing all sorts of hits and he's able to land back safely use not able to deny those landings but he's still denying any damage opportunity power ranger finds the punish finds the downer gets a neutral light he's getting more and more damage added up this is all extra credit going into the second stocks just kind of playing footsies around with each other. The side light does have the range that he needs to sort of beat out the range that Power Ranger has. Good punish there. Isn't able to find the side that you know he wanted on it. Yo, the D light from the middle of the stage. That's going to be the KO option. Use definitely taking a fair bit of damage here. He is kind of midway through this stock as he is in the orange. Weapon spawn is going to be grabbed by Power Ranger. Open us up with a nice little signature very quickly. Ooh, Power oh, Ranger snap. went for the big one. Oh, snap. No recovery used, yes? Okay, he's he's good. He gets the wall touch. Uh, one thing, talking about that. Okay, nice big ground pad from Power Ranger. Talking about that side signature from Volkov. Uh, very interesting mix up that you can do. It's kind of a 50 50, right? Use if you charge it, you go for the overhead swing. If you just tap it, you'll go for the underhand swing. And so Power Ranger, he already has the punish on the overhead swing, but if Use is just tapping it, then that punish is not going to work the exact same way. And so Use can kind of do this mix up on Power Ranger. But for now, doesn't really have to worry about it. Power Ranger with a stock advantage is getting more added up. Oh, that's going to balk him on the head and completely in that punish that he wanted. He was probably based on him going for the down light ground pound after that. He was probably going to go for the down light ground pound rather than any vertically upward Ooh. move because he wanted the more damage since Power Rangers just in the orange. He was definitely falling behind here. Power Ranger about a full stock head. That could be the nice way to start this one off. Is he going to be able to confirm the edge guard? No, Dodges a dodge through. through from Power Ranger. And you saw Power Ranger try to punish, but a nice ground pound from Use. Final stocks here. Use if he sticks with the scythe. We've seen people steal stocks with scythes before, but is Use the type of player to do it? He certainly has the weapon advantage until Power Ranger grabs that bow right out of the air. Nice little three piece, four piece. See if he can pick up a fiber yo, here. There it yo. is. Not quite a pick six coming out Dodge from through. Use, but he did Ooh. grab five. That would have been a nice move to hit. Would have been juicy, but oh, he oh, is, dude, he is getting hit it. after hit. He's straight up doing it so far. The fast fall saving Power Ranger's life. Another side stick oh. doesn't spike. Power Ranger's living for a moment. Avoids it. Falling there. Power Ranger getting a little nervous here, but Use That's is disarmed so and things are good for Power Ranger. He's going to sit on the corner, goes for the down heavy use. Now with his pick of weapons, goes for the axe neutral sig misses, side sig misses. Power Ranger doesn't get the punish. He knows that Power Ranger was without a weapon, and he wanted to try to throw everything at Power Ranger that he could while there was a weapon disadvantage to hopefully find. It was signature after signature, what KO move after KO move. Couldn't quite find it, and then Power Ranger found the punish that he needed. That was a great ground pound coming out from Power Ranger there. Yeah, skirting right around that uh, weapon toss from Yuz. Power Rangers showing why he's the current South American world champion, the number one PR, the number one seed, and the favorite to win this one. Use one game away from going down to the lower side 
and Power Ranger going on into the winner's final. Yuzu's Volkov is level 27, so extremely low, even okay. compared to the rest of his characters. If you look at the number one, it is going to be that vector that we saw earlier coming in at level 73, but Yuzu is not going back to that vector. He's making a choice here with this Sir Roland. Let's see what level he has for Roland. At least level 25, judging from the color scheme. And oh my goodness, what a start. Yuzu almost going for the edge guard. Does not continue it, though. And Power Ranger going to show him how it's done, maybe. Nope, Yuzu fights his way back up they are scrapping this is a much more aggressive start to game number three it is at least that level 25 that you spoke about but it's not much more it is level 32 i was wondering if we we're going to see any sir rollins today given the love that lance got plus yeah. sword we saw quite a few sir rollins in the 2v2s but uh not so much in 1v1s just yet use thanking that Roland defense that he didn't even go off screen off of the tatami mat and power ranger he's only even with all the damage that uses done now, of course, we're back to Small Brawl Haven. We'll see who grabs the first stock here. We're about a minute into this game. Use completely way too far away from that side sig that Power Ranger threw out to get hit by it, but he also was not in any territory to punish it. So Power Ranger's able to throw nice. that one out for free. Big Duff coming out. Cranks back that right hand, throws it out, gets the KO. All of that based off of the footsies from Power Rangers, staying just outside where Yuz was likely looking for like a jump side air or any sort of movement, and Power Ranger with the punish. He's got the stock advantage, but he needs this extra credit. A side air from Yuz. Look at the neutral light. Almost puts him off screen. The recovery, not going to do he it. He charged that one up so early. That gave Power Ranger all the time he needed to respond to it. Didn't even need inhuman, like, 14-year-old Brahala players yeah. super reaction times on that one. I think I might have even been able to respond to that Yeah, he to saw that, that and I would have made ready. the wrong choice, but I could have at least reacted yeah. to it. You, you, had, you were able to acknowledge it. You yeah. recognized it. The, uh, the AI saw it. Yeah, that's a recovery. All right, Nair from use, and he's able to even up the stock count. The damage, it's not great, but it's definitely doable for use. Maybe he just needs to build up some of those neutral lights that Fiend was building yeah. up earlier that we saw in that final game. Ooh, oh, that's going to catch him really high, too. Not really in Ooh. danger of being KO'd. Oh, that's a nice follow-up from Power Ranger, putting him in a huge power position. Going to be a little bit greedy there. Almost betting a Good lot dodge, on that. Not quite. Punish. Oh, Yo, the second swipe. You thought he was safe. He wasn't safe. He thought he had the distance. He thought he had the spacing. And Power Ranger gets another stock. The end sig connects. Power Ranger one stock away from a guaranteed top three finish. Mighty lead going the way of Power Ranger here. He has a lot of room to play with, and he doesn't really have any huge danger of being taken out immediately. Like, yeah, you could hit a Lance ground pound, but we see Yuz is not really leaning on that Lance whatsoever. There is a weapon spawn on the field. We'll see who makes the swap. It is going to be Power Ranger. So, yeah, there's really not much that Yuz can do right now other than, like, some Hail Mary miracle position that Power Ranger really needs to be worried about, about being taken out off of the second stock and evened up. Of course, he is still going to play carefully. He's not going to do anything super dumb. Dumb, but he has a lot of room to play with, has a lot of slack in the line. Yeah, as long as Power Ranger doesn't go too aggressive off stage, should be walking away with a dub here in game number three. Goes for the end sig read use, able to avoid it. Power Ranger, perfect timing, gets through the blades. The tatami mat almost does it. One more hit from Power Ranger could be enough, but use does get back down onto the stage. Power Ranger not being too greedy. He no knows punish. he's in such a okay. solid position. Dash into the neutral signature, grabs that one, gets the KO, had two stocks to his name. We were seeing big damage that he was having to do to take out stocks. Not that time. All it took was 577. Yeah, a little bit of warm-up time there for Power Ranger, but once he was hot, he was good to go, and he was able to keep that momentum all over use. Power Ranger, our first one.